Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Bearcats have not only put together a nice winning streak, they're starting to play at a much higher level, and they've energized their entire campus. Now the question is, will they be able to handle everybody on campus patting them on the back, telling them how good they are, and telling them how they expect a big win in this one? Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. will host this exciting college football contest that's coming up. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He'll return it from the one. Gets to about the 24-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. it out to about the 27-yard line. He's on the run. Brought down at about the 31. He's under pressure, and he's level at the 28-yard line. Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. Palmer is the deep man awaiting the return. He makes it to the 45-yard line. The Cougars' offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks but the thing that i really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team when things are going well he's patting everybody on the back when things are not going well he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go so not only does he physically have the tools but also i really love the way he approaches the game that brings up second and one and they make the stop at the 46. Tackles him for a loss. Loss of two. That makes it fourth and four. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. And he's taken down at the 23. You're always looking for the home run return, the big highlight. Didn't happen there, but he still got him a couple yards. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Throw 
goes complete. He's got room to work. And they push him out right around the 34. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Grabs it and hammered right there. Strike to his receiver, no good. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35. Throws it deep. At the 30. It's caught. Good tackle there in space. Huge play for both the quarterback and receiver. But it all starts with the big fellas up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw. After a decent run up the gut. That'll make it second and four. And down he goes at the 16-yard line. They get about seven yards on the pass and pick up a first down. Man, that's another first down on this drive. They've looked really good since they came out on the field. Tackle the seven yard line. That's a deep nine on the way. That brings up second and nine. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Tackled after a decent pickup. It's a nice read by the quarterback to keep the ball and pick up some yardage. That makes it first and goal. Cincinnati. He makes the PAT. A nine play, 77 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, seven nothing. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 27 yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Steps up in the pocket, and he throws it away. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. With a quick throw. They'll bring him down around the 46 yard line. Receiver, but it's knocked out. You know, the quarterback's very fortunate that his wide receiver is getting up from that hit. That's a big hit by the defender. The quarterback should go up to his receiver and apologize for putting that ball in a position where he almost had his head taken off. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. And he almost has the INT. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision, throwing into coverage. Needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. Gaddis is waiting for the snap. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. 
the last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. Two yards there on the option keeper. This linebacker's had a couple years of experience, and he's really solidified himself as a reliable tackler, as you can see from that last stop. He steps out around the 16-yard line. That's a game of two. Cincinnati is up by a touchdown. Fires that quickly incomplete. Whitehead to punt. They'll bring him down at the 49. The Bearcats really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Throws to the tight end, and that falls incomplete. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hands. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball, and it comes out a little wobbly. From their own 49-yard line, it's second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. He's going to try and scramble, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 7-0, Bearcats. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Williams awaiting the return. And down he goes at the 29. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Cincinnati is up seven. On the run. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. First down. Complete and taken down immediately. Game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a game of four yards. That makes it first and ten. Come for son. Fires quickly and he's got his man. Tackle made at the 47. And he tackles him hard at the 34 yard line. He is drilled at the 33 yard line. That's a game of one on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 33 yard line. Under pressure. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. That's good for a game of one yard. That'll make it third and nine. Cincinnati up seven points. 
Looks middle. Got his back. He's taken down around the 25-yard line. A seven-yard pickup on the screen play. And I thought this play was going to go for more yards, but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. That makes it first and goal. The halfback with a carry, and he hits him hard at the four yard line. Touchdown, Cincy! Tacks on the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's out to the 30. Run down at the 33. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Just throws this one away. Second and ten. Ball on the 33. He rifles it. And he got it to the sophomore. And he's tackled at about the 37-yard line. Good-looking play there. I think they did a great job up front here, allowing the quarterback enough time to look downfield and spot the open man. Slings it left. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. That makes, that makes it second, second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. <laughs> on the throw, incomplete pass. Bowling the intended receiver on the play. That brings us third and ten. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He heaves it to the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown, Houston. Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. He hits the PAT. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, time to get you up to date on some scores from around the country. And for SMU, they strike through the air and reach the end zone for a touchdown. And for Henry, he has one touchdown pass. SMU in front, 7 0, early in the first quarter. All right, thanks, Reese. They line up to kick this one away. It's fielded at the two. And he just got drilled. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Cincinnati is up a score. They'll give it off here. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. You have to like how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short gain. Nice stop by the junior.
fires out to his receiver. And he's taken down right around the 40. That's a gain of 14 yards on the play. First down. Makes the catch and look out. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That makes it second and two. He's under some heat. Decides to tuck in, and he's got space. Knocked out of bounds around the 37-yard line. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. Man left, man left. From the 37-yard line, first down. across the middle brought down at the 37 but he didn't have much of a chance on that play boy this defense has a lot of speed they're all over him by the time he caught the ball fires it out and they make the stop at about the 33 yard line that makes it 37 Scrambling around. And down he goes at about the 31. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Cincinnati is up by a touchdown. on the run excellent open field tackle so they turn it over on downs and that's a big boost for this defense in a close game like this one it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Runs right for a nice gain. Hart gains around six yards on the option play right there. They're about four yards away here on second down. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it, as it should be the last play before the half. That's a great tackle at the eight-yard line. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. The Bearcats with a touchdown lead. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnover. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson open stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air, and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared, and that's how you force those turnovers. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. It's going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. McCall, fields it at the seven. 
And he's taken down at the 30. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's scrambling. Tackle at the 34. That makes it second and six. From their own 28-yard line, third down. He wants it all going long. Missed him. Bowling was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and 12. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. It's away. Short punt. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Cincinnati is up seven. First down, Graham. They'll bring him down at the 48. That's good for three, First down. down. You're not ready. You're not ready. Mike's 50. Mike's 50. Black body. Complete. Brought down. Nothing doing. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. tailback. He's tackled right around the 46-yard line. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And he's level at the 45. Flag down, and I'm not sure First when it was thrown. Let's find out. Offense. Offense. Why in the world would the offense run a route short for the first down? That just baffles me every time I see that. Palmer, back deep to return. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He gets to about the 34-yard line. Push him out right around the four-yard line. They 
need to find a way to get points this trip in the red zone. Touchdown, Cougars! Things can get pretty fierce in this territory, but they look totally in control there. And again, we're looking at a tie game. Man, a lot. This one really looks like it's going to come down to the finish. The extra point to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. It was a five-play, 79-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. 14 apiece. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Houston's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Throw is incomplete, broken up. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. From their own 25-yard line. It's second down. He's got it with room to run. Good tackle there in space. He scrambled. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Whitehead awaits the snap. Palmer fields it at the 38. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. you got to make every possession count. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Loss of three yards on the play. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Up the middle for a nice game. field. He's brought down in the open field.
catches it, and that's all. That makes it second and six. So with one quarter remaining, we're deadlocked right now at 14. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. He makes the PAT. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Let's take a look at Lovett. Let's take a look at this one again. And for Texas Tech, we are seeing the offense jump out in front. Texas Tech leads it 14-10. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Nolan, ready to kick. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 22. Cincinnati's really used to having everything go their way on offense, and that hasn't been the case today. Hasn't been the case. You know, the offensive coordinator, I think, may have looked at this game as, as if it would be no problem just show up and be able to move the football, but I think he got a lesson on why it's important to take every single opponent seriously. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. And he's tackled around the 23-yard line. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And he is drilled at the 40. Game of 17 on the play. First down. Hey, check Mike, check Mike, Mike, six, Mike, six. Let's go, Pete. Takes it right. He can't get back to the line. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on their own 39. He's at midfield. He makes his way to about the 38. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Now he's scrambling, tries to get around the corner. He keeps it. He's at the 20, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 11-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Knocked out of bounds at the one. That's a game of four on the That makes it fourth and inches. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Yards. 
He was tackled immediately. And that was a big stop defensively. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job by the defense to shut them down. I can't argue the play call. The defense just did their job by standing their ground. A score here might effectively end this one. They've got their goal line set on the field. This might be a good time for some play action. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Gaining more yards. That'll make it second and seven. the stop at the 22-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 22. Back old after decent pickup. Taylor gets about four yards on the play. The Bearcats call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Houston up seven points. And they get nice yardage on that run. Well, that's a great job by this offense. The defense knew that the run was coming, and they still could not slow them down. Pick up a first down and it allows them to continue to work this clock. First and ten. Ball on the 33. Here's an opening. He's at midfield. He's pushed out of bounds around the 37-yard line. out to around the 18. It's first and 10. Ball on the 18. And down he goes at the 10. This is the eighth play of this drive. He gets out to about the nine yard line. Cougars know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.